Yeah, what's up Rebels? What's up Pride Crew? Uh, Doug here in sunny, hot, and humid Charlotte, North Carolina. Sunday walk and talk. Uh, what is this? June? June 26 or so, I think. Something like that. 23rd? 26th? I don't know the fucking date. Um, gotta kind of talk fast and walk fast. Get a meeting. Uh, I've got a AKLU uh, conference call meeting in like eight minutes. So uh, we'll get this done and over with. Uh, walking idiot one here. Who went to the vet today because she has a fucking bladder infection. For fuck's sake. Yeah, that cost 300 something that I don't really have. But, uh, you know, it's my girl, so we take care of her as best we can. Uh, what's going on? So, uh, getting back into the swing of kind of regular training and uh, did some uh, decent volume this week on kettlebell, uh, working on my front squats for strength, uh, working on my O lifting. Somebody floated me the idea of doing this uh, charity O lifting competition that's uh, next month, so I might partake in that. Um, I mean, I'm no O lifter. I, I enjoy doing it, but it's not like I'm great at it. Uh, I enjoy coaching it. Again, not like I'm great at it, but um, you know, I can teach the average person to get a bit better. I'm no, I'm no high level O lifting coach. That's for damn sure. My form's not the greatest. Um, I can usually pick out people's technique flaws, but uh, can't seem to fix my own technique flaws. Um, so uh, doing a little bit more O lifting, having fun with that. We've kind of. I guess officially made a, a Tuesday, Thursday O lifting class. So that's kind of cool, adding some stuff to the gym. Um, I've got to get somebody to uh, take care of that for me because I only got so much time. And honestly, I'd rather have somebody there to teach it so that I can learn from them. So I got a couple of people I'm going to talk to about that. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, Lindsay's on deload. Uh, she's competing this weekend in her last raw powerlifting competition before she switches over to equipped. Uh, so if you guys want to see Lindsay compete, uh, she will be competing this weekend. Uh, where is she competing? I think she's competing up in uh, Hickory, I'm pretty sure, uh, if I remember correctly. This guy's going to start a lawnmower behind me, so might be kind of loud there for a second. I'll be a son of a bitch. That thing sounds electric. Ha! <laughs> uh, anyways, I, speaking of electric lawnmowers, I'm considering getting one, uh, but really I want an old school, like, uh, turbine push mower style because um, eventually my goal is to basically mulch almost my entire front yard and only have, like, a 10-foot strip of grass so that I basically don't have anything to mow. Uh, my HOA, who I hate and despise, uh, dictates that I have to have some amount of grass in my front yard, but they don't have like a minimum square footage requirement. So I could have like four feet by 10 feet of grass and I, I have grass. So uh, that's my goal. Anyway, that's a little bit of a side story there. But uh, yeah, Lindsay's on uh, D load. Uh, she's cutting weight. She's only got to cut like uh, four pounds or something like that. So. Uh, she's very good at cutting weight, so we never have to worry about her. Um, so she's competing this weekend in Hickory, I think. Uh, so that should be uh, exciting for her to uh, hit one of her, well, not one of her, to hit her last uh, powerlifting meet raw before she switches over to equipped. Uh, what else is going on? Um, some of our powerlifters, they're on a volume cycle right now. so. Uh, they're loading up for uh, their next meet uh, with somebody competing. I think we've got a couple of people competing at our place uh, on September 7th, Strength Fest. Uh, and then uh, we have some other people. Uh, they'll be competing. Hold on a second. Hey, hey. Somebody walked over their leash. Uh, 
Then we've got other people competing, I think up in Hickory as well, but that's not until October. So uh, got the team working on that. Uh, next kettlebell meet, I don't know if I'm gonna go. I'll probably, I don't know. I'm trying to go to Chicago in August. Kettlemania, we'll, we'll see. Um, it just depends on schedule and finances and all that bullshit. Uh, so there's that. Um, God, what else is going on? We're speaking of strength fest. We're, we're finalizing some details. I got a lot of shit that I got to take care of, uh, as far as logistics and buildings and shit like that. Yeah. I don't know if that lawnmower is electric or not. It sure sounds electric, but I think it is I'm pretty sure that's an electric lawnmower. Anyways, um, Speaking of lawnmowers, and again, going back to my lawn, mowed my yard today, been working on uh, flattening out the backyard, and getting shit situated back there. We have one of the biggest plots in the neighborhood, which I'm super proud and slightly arrogant about. Um, so fixing up the backyard, and of course, uh, we had a downed tree limb, big, big downed tree limb, like 20 feet long, good solid, like eight inches thick. Uh, so pull out the chainsaw to cut that fucking thing into pieces. And uh, what happens, of course, I get stung by uh, two bees, little, little, teeny, tiny bees, but uh, I'm very allergic. So uh, I get stung on the chest, I get stung on the arm. Um, I made sure that I felt okay. So that like I wasn't going into shock or anything like that. Uh, so I feel fine, but um, it hurts. It hurts uh, quite a bit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to be a fucking pansy ass or a baby, but it does not feel good. Um, but uh, teeny tiny bees, so uh, I'm okay. I just got some really bad red spots, some inflammation, so uh, I'll take some Benadryl. I don't know if I'm gonna take Benadryl tonight or not. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, I really don't like taking uh, medication for pretty much jack shit, anything. So um, there's that. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, just a bunch of craziness, really. Uh, project on top of project. Uh, we're getting ready to do really open things up with uh, Pit Fit in Indianapolis. Uh, so our partnership with them is about to fucking explode. Um, so William Byron is literally racing right now as we speak, as I am shooting this video. Uh, so when I get back in, home, in the house, uh, I got to take care of watching him and cooking my food and uh, getting on this AKLU board meeting phone call and uh, doing all that shit all at the same time. So as usual, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I got a very tiny amount of work done on my truck today. I have three stripped bolts that are just being a pain in my ass. I got one of them out today. So hopefully next weekend I can get the other ones out and get this fucking thing fixed truck is killing me I really need it back but uh, it's it's not it's not being easy for me so uh, that's it for Sunday walk and talk and everything going on in my life uh, is if I have you know millions of adoring fans who truly care about what's going on in my life not really so only get watched by half a dozen people but uh, you know the other day um, I had a thought about you know really being happy and proud of uh, where I'm at, what I've accomplished in life. Um, I mean, I'll put it to you this way. Uh, that's my house. If you guys haven't seen my house or been inside the house, that's the truck, the Solstice, the Jetta. The Galaxy is inside the garage. So yes, I own four cars and only three of them are currently running, which is quite embarrassing. But regardless, I've worked very hard to get what I have uh, and to be where I'm at in this world. Um, you know, I've, I've written a few books and I'm in the middle of writing more and uh, we got some big projects coming um, and I've started some investments. So, you know, I just want you guys to think about, think about where you're at in your life and uh, try not to compare yourselves with uh, other people and where they're at in their life, uh, on their journey. You know, just, just be proud of where you're at and what you've done. And uh, that's, that's all I got to say for today. I gotta go get a bunch of other shit done. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Peace.